Okay, hey class, we are here to test out a few different water bottles. Uh, the goal of this lab is we wanted to find if these hydroflasks are any good. Uh, so one of the things that we learn about in middle school science is about conductors versus insulators and how heat transfer works. These things, they're designed to be insulators, mean that they keep things either really hot for a long time or really cold for a long time. Both are the same thing. Uh, the way we're gonna test it is we're gonna pour the same amount of hot water into each one of these uh, containers. And we're gonna see which one stays hot for the longest. We're gonna get a real-time readout of temperature. So all of these are about the same size. I think this is a pretty fair test. For safety reasons, we're keeping the caps off on each of them, um, which definitely does affect the results, but we're gonna make the assumption that the caps would probably do about the same thing for each of the bottles. And so we're really testing the effectiveness and the insulation properties of the outside of the bottle. Uh, so I have a few people that are gonna be helping me to pour these in so that we can get a really good timer. Uh, we're gonna pour the water in at the exact same time, controlling for that variable. And so here we go. I'm gonna start off by same temperature water going into each one of our beakers. I'm gonna put 200 in each. We wanna keep as many things as, as the same as possible. That's known as an experimental control. You're controlling for as many things, you're making everything else the same, and we're testing one different thing. The thing that we're testing that's different is the bottles, which makes that our independent variable in the test. The thing that we're gonna measure is the temperature, which makes temperature the, the dependent variable in the test. 200 in each. And so now the students are gonna carefully and trying not to burn themselves, they're gonna pour this all in at the same time. This one needed a little bit more. Okay. So same temperature water going into all of them. Uh, people that are gonna be pouring, you guys can get close to your bottles and we're gonna give you a start timer. Okay, don't burn yourself. This is our experimental control, are you okay? Grab the side so we're not gonna burn ourselves. And um, you can actually move to get yourself some more space. There you go. You guys have enough space to do it without burning each other? Yep. All right, so on the count of three. One, two, three, pour it in. Try not to burn yourself. You okay? I don't burn myself. You got it, <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Don't burn yourself. All right, I get it. Okay, cool. All right, so. So now the boring part of the video, we wait. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna speed this part up in the video. I'm just gonna leave my video running. Uh, we're gonna check in in about five minutes. So let's say uh, it's 11.43 now. We're gonna check in in five minutes and we'll see which one is winning. So it's been it's been six minutes since we started. Uh, we're gonna check in on these. The Contigo is at 73.9 degrees Celsius. It's pretty hot. This knockoff Hydro Flask, the Hydro Peak, Marshall's brand special, 72.7 Celsius. Not bad. This one, the Tau, is at 73.0. The Hydro Flask is at 71.8 Celsius. Well, actually, the knockoff Hydro Flask is doing better than that one right now, the Hydro Peak. Uh, and then the Yeti is at 69.7. I have some ideas. I have some ideas of why the Yeti might be losing. That the mouth of the Yeti is really wide. So when the mouth of a bottle is really wide, so convection is one way that you can lose heat. And there's more airflow out of the bottles that are wider. Here's the problem, though, from a perspective of the Hydro Flask. 
is that the, the, the knockoff Hydro Flask has a wider mouth than the regular Hydro Flask. So if it was only coming from here, you would expect that the Hydro Flask would be winning. But um, that is one way. Okay, so then the, our control one, our control beaker, which has no insulation whatsoever, is already down to 61.5. So that's by far the lowest. If we were to convert that to Fahrenheit, uh, that's 141 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's still pretty hot, uh, but it's, it's seriously dropped a lot. We're gonna check in in another five minutes. It's 11.50 now. Um, I'm gonna check in at 11.55. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do our final results here, um, and we have we have some surprising winners, though not surprising if you've been watching the video up to this point. Uh, if you skip to the end, you might be surprised. So it looks like the Contigo is still the winner, um, though the tall look made it close. So the Contigo right now is sitting at sixty-seven point nine degrees Celsius. Uh, that is one hundred and fifty-four degrees Fahrenheit. Six, oh, 67.9. Our second place is the towel bottle, 67.0, pretty close. Third place was the Hydro Peak, 65.0. In fourth place, the Hydro Flask at 63.6 .6 degrees Celsius. And then finally, in uh, in last place, the, the Yeti, in, in fairness, it has a it has the widest of the mouths up here. It's 59.2 degrees Celsius. Um, our control variable was, we, we did the same experiment without a water bottle to keep it warm. And so this is basically what would happen if you just stuck it into any old bottle, not insulated. And it's 47.6. So what I will say is that all of these perform significantly better than our control variable. So all of these actually did a much better job of keeping it warm than just the cup did, um, which is why these are so popular. Things that can keep things warm for a long time are also things that can keep things cold for a long time because it's the same property, whether or not it's an insulator. So these things are preventing heat transfer. So I guess that is uh, the conclusion of our test. Hydro Flask outperformed by two, uh, two cheaper options and then the Contigo, which I'm not sure if the Contigo is more expensive or less expensive than the Hydro Flask, but um, test out your bottles. They might not perform as well as you think they did. All right, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to like and subscribe.